long. We got Frank in New York City next. Frank, welcome to the Narrow Path. Thanks for calling. Yes, thank you, Steve. God bless you. Thank you. Um, again, I'd like to talk about uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow's election, um, on the subject specifically of uh, abortion, because this is, seems to be Kamala Harris's uh, mainstay. And uh, do you know, most people don't know this, Steve, but, well, first of all, Paul said, if you don't care for your own, especially for those of the members of your household, you have denied the faith and, are, and, is, and you're worse than an unbeliever. And those little babies are members of the household, whether they're born or not. Um, abortion, which I believe the only sin that was worse than abortion was killing Christ. Um, I don't think he could go beyond, after that, I don't think he could go beyond abortion itself, killing a little baby. But more Americans have died, have been killed in the Civil War, World War One, World War Two, Korea, and Vietnam combined that have been killed in abortion. We killed over 60 million babies already. Right. What well, you, you you said that backward, but I know what you mean. That more peop more more human beings have more been killed. More Americans. Yeah, American human beings have been killed by their own mothers through abortion than all the casualties right. in all those wars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Combined, with all those wars combined. But yeah. anyway, um, Steve. Uh, I really think that if this woman wins the election tomorrow, I, she, she's, she's definitely a communist and a Marxist. She's satanic. Um, I believe you're really going to see God drop the hammer on this country. I think I this believe, is one last... I believe that will be the hammer. Yeah, that'll be the... Yeah, I think if, if she loses, I think it'll be like God giving us another chance yeah. um, to straighten out. As far as those things you said before about those, uh, you know, the fellows that called before me, I, I believe in them. Um, I believe eternal security is, is definitely, it's, it's, it's a lie from hell. And I would like to hear, um, maybe you have a debate with somebody like John MacArthur, because he's bent like he's bent well, so would I. <laughs> so would I, but he... I'm nobody, and he's somebody. He's 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 a famous celebrity. I'm I'm nobody, so he wouldn't. No, I, me. I understand yeah. that. Yeah. Like he uh, he won't debate anybody because mm -hmm. he knows if he debates the right person, and I'll debate him. I'll be happy to debate him. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll get cut to ribbons on that issue. But anyway, what I'm saying is, uh, we're under judgment already, Steve. I this know. has been what's been going on for the last sixty years, and I could go down the list. There's a tons of tons of things. I believe judgment has started. It started in the house of God. But um, if if she becomes president, we ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah, and uh, that frightens me. And yeah, I, I don't believe think it, also I don't think that's that, an, I don't think that's an exaggeration at all. I think that no, no. I, I think if she becomes president then the trajectory of the last four years will continue at a more rapid rate for the next four. And, and I don't see how there can be what we know, what we would recognize as the uh, constitutional republic of the United States uh, at the end of that four years. I mean, maybe. I could be wrong, but I, I just I can't see it. I, I've looked at it really hard. I don't know how we'd survive that as a nation. What I feel really bad about is that it seems to cut, the country seems to be like 50-50. Now... Half of the country seems to be believers. Well, whoever claims to be a believer in this country, let's just say it is 50%, which is a horrible number. It's nowhere near where we should be. Um, I don't believe that that 50% is legitimate. I believe at least 25% of that so-called Christian number are phonies. Uh, we have to be obedient to God. It's not enough that you believe that Jesus is the Son of God. That's fine. I mean, you need that. But you have to live for Him. You have to live a sanctified life for Him. I agree. And so we're probably down to 25%. That, that, this, is, this is what's frightening me, frightening me too also. When I, I was born and raised in Manhattan, Steve. And 
the churches in Manhattan, especially the Catholic churches, they're huge. They're like the size of cathedrals. And when I was a kid and a teenager, you couldn't get in them. They were standing room only. Mm -hmm. And the lines for confession would, would literally go around the block. Today, they're virtually empty, and they can't stay open because nobody wants to go to church anymore. I hear you, brother. I hear you. Hey, I appreciate your call. I can't say I disagree with anything you've said there. Of course, I'm not a Catholic, and you are, but I still uh, I still agree with all the things you brought up today. And I, I appreciate your zeal for for the lives of, of the unborn. Hey, I need to take a break. I've uh, got some more calls waiting, but uh, Frank, thanks for joining us. Uh, you're listening to The Narrow Path. We are a listener-supported minister uh, ministry. And if you want to get in touch with us, the... Address is The Narrow Path, P.O. Box 1730, Temecula, California, 92593. Or you can go to our website. Everything at our website is free. It's loaded with resources. They're all free for download. Uh, or you can donate there. It's thenarrowpath.com. 